Yo, what is up, Googlers and YouTubers? It's your boy Henry, and I am back at it again with another one. Can you leave this one on a review? Yo, guys, I just saw the movie uh, Saw 10 for the first time. Man, was it really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really great. Uh, let's talk about John... Um, about John Kramer. Uh, great fucking movie. Um... I can't believe he's been doing it this long, and it's crazy because really, it's just it's, um, it, it, around Halloween time. It really, really hits really, really big time, you know. So that's really, really cool. Uh, himself waking up to his own hell uh, is pretty cool, as far as like. So the movie how it starts off is um, what happens is he had gotten. Uh, when, when he was diagnosed with cancer, pretty much, and uh, group meetings or whatever, he met a friend or he knew someone or he had saw another patient. And pretty much a uh, few months or years later down the road, he sees the same guy and he's still alive. And he asked him, like, hey, what happened? You know, or um, wanted to know a story. And he told him, he showed him the scar that he went to surgery and he had met these people. Well... These people had a secret, like, undercover lab, excuse me, an undercover um, clinic in Mexico. So, so, the, so he went there for treatment, in other words. Uh, John Kramer, which is the jigsaw for his cancer. And what is really, really so fucking crazy is that um, there were... Uh, let me I'm sorry, get ahead of myself. So what's crazy is that he goes to find his help. He finds his help. He goes through the surgery and everything, you know. Um, wires their money. Obviously, half of the payment to do the surgery. And speaking about that, you know, um, I've always wondered what he was, right? Like, uh, what was his kind of job or whatever? Or how did, you know, how was he able to build the things he built? To kind of find out he was an architect. He was an architect, and what else was he? A mechanic, right? An architect and a mechanic. An engineer, excuse me. He was an engineer and an architect. So that's so, 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 so crazy because in the movie, you see him drawing off skits or um, work, in other words, uh, projects. And what's interesting is... Mm. Uh, excuse me guys I'm sorry I'm so tired because I'm just um, getting ready to go to bed soon I, so I was killing the movie before um, a scary movie before I went to bed right not a good idea so um, anyways I was um, watching it they, I saw that like you know he goes to the surgery or whatever and he meets these people and he meets them one by one but come to find out guys and I'm not trying to spoil it for you but it was all a scam you know, they scammed his ass. And just to be clear, up through the whole movie, I definitely like at the beginning a lot more than the middle or the end of it. Just because I was like, wow. Like, even as I was watching it, part of me was thinking, and I knew I called it out, right? When um, the Mexican surgeons, I thought that was such a badass touch. To find help and um, to find help from a doctor recommended by a friend. I thought that was so cool the way he came upon them, you know, the way he met them, in other words. And then for them just to be fake, like for them to give him false hope. In other words, he went to the clinic to go send flowers or whatever the next day or whenever he recovered and the clinic was already all gone. So when he looked in the mirror, he looked in the mirror and he lifted his head and there was no cuts, there was no scars, there was no... There was no surgery, so they straight up conned his ass. Man. I really liked that they did this in Mexico. That was really, really cool. And that the doctors were all fake. That's crazy. So now he's in Mexico hunting them down. And then what's crazy as fuck is that you see the return of Amanda, which is his assistant, which has always been his assistant. Is this the second, third one? And um, it's really cool to see them working together. And it was really, really cool. It's like, I don't want to jump the gun on this. 
because I'm not too sure, but it will look good later on in the future because this is already Saw 10. So let's say Saw 11 comes out 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 for the next 10 years, right? Another 10 movies. The cool thing is that they're going to be using Amanda's character, the actor, um, her as the new face of Jigsaw for the future, you know? So if that is the case, I mean, that's really, really fucking badass. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, that's really, 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 really badass because the you see how old John Kramer is and how old he's been doing this and, you know, how his planning works and all this and that. And he trained Amanda to teach her everything that he knows. This is magnificent. The game started and the game is on and it's, this is time that you're rooting for uh it's really cool that what happens is they're running so they ran game on you without you even knowing it because they sure enough got me with it so they paid me with the game with the game of the game really really interesting stuff man i really really like what they did there at the end i thought it was fucking cool so without a doubt guys uh same story there same story here same story as every saw movie uh in the future too there will be blood and there was blood so the movie obviously gets five stars 